Uh, thanks again, once again, for y'all coming out. I appreciate all y'all do and everything you do for us. Uh, you know, obviously, it was a very good to win the football game against Alabama State. You know, our, our players and coaches have worked awfully hard. Uh, so I think, you know, give them a reward of win, being able to win a football game is, is very big, along with our, our fans and our administration and everybody involved. I think it's always, always good to win a football game, and, and we're certainly excited about it. Obviously, that one's uh, behind us now. We've got to get ready for the next one. But some guys that, you know, that, that uh, played well for us, you know, Saturday, I think defensively we're still doing some good things versus the run. Obviously, we, you know, uh, shut down Alabama State's running game pretty good, but we're still struggling defending the pass. I think it's kind of a two-fold deal. We, we have got to do better in the back end. Uh, but at the same time, we've got to get more pressure on the quarterback. You know, some guys played Saturday that have not played, that we've committed to playing on a regular basis. Of course, we're playing some freshmen already, but three guys that, that uh, stepped up and played and, and play, I think played fairly well for Saturdays was Andre Hicks at cornerback and then Jarrell and Cottrell Water at the linebacker spot. They, uh, all those three played for the first time. We're committed to playing them. You'll see them on a, on a regular basis now, and, and I think they did some good things while they were in there. Offensively, uh, you know, we scored a lot of points, which was good. I still think we're we're not executing and and are playing kind of sloppy, to be honest with you. I think we can. Uh -huh. I think offensively, we're still a talented group that can okay. do some things better than what we're doing, and and uh, we need to play better offensively. Uh, kicking game wise, I thought overall was good. I, you know, obviously we we're disappointed in Swayze's uh, missing the two field goals, but. Like I said in the paper after the game, it's uh, not like you shanked them or you know hit them bad. You know they just didn't go through the uprise. And, uh, but you know, obviously we expect him to make all of them, and, and uh, I'm sure he'll continue to work hard at it. You know, getting ready from South Carolina is uh, they're by far the most de physical defensive football team that we'll play all year. Uh, not only up front, but the secondary comes get you too. Uh, they they are. Uh, Big, strong, physical football team. They got two inside linebackers that weigh 260 and 270. You know, bigger than some of our offensive linemen. So, uh, you know, they're a physical, defensive football team. Uh, you know, offensively, we're going to be uh, have a tremendous challenge to to be able to move the ball and score some points. Uh, but there again, I do think we're a good enough unit offensively if we'll execute and do what we're capable of doing. Uh, we ought to be able to get some points. Uh, you know. South Carolina's offense, um, I guess, you know, they're, they're still trying to decide who the quarterback's going to be. Uh, you know, I think they got a strong physical running back. You know, they do a good job of throwing the football. They got you know, some good, you know, scheme-wise, they do an excellent job. I think, you know, once they settle in on who they're going to be a quarterback, they'll they'll probably be better off. But they're still searching now. Kicking game-wise, I think they do an excellent job. They've got a guy named, I think his name's Suckup or whatever. Uh, how do you pronounce it? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Steve, is that right? That's right. Suck, yeah, suck you got up. it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I laughed like I was wrong. So. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, he's a good kicker. You know, he does an excellent job kicking off for him, does a good job with field goals. And so anytime they get in there close, you know, he'll, he'll have an opportunity. So, you know, again, it's a, it'll be a tremendous challenge for us. Again, going to a a big arena, you know, we're excited about the opportunity to go play. Um, you know, you want to play, if you play the game, you want to you want to play against the best, and we're certainly getting to do that again Saturday, so we're looking forward to it. Well, uh, you know, I, we, defensively, we, we're, you know, even though you know, we didn't give up but what, uh, seven points or ten points mm -hmm. Saturday, you know, I, I've seen improvement every week. Uh, it's still frustrating at times when we let people convert the long throws and things on third down, but, but overall defensively, I can see us improving. Uh, offensively, you know, even though we scored a lot of points Saturday, you know, I still don't, I, I know we're not executing like we're capable of executing. So, you know, it'll be, it'll be you know, big for us to go out and score early, and it'll be big for us to, to keep them off the board. And uh, you know, anytime you can, Make it go longer, you know, and stay close. I think it uh, it kind of puts a little fear, a little doubt in your opponent's mind, and, and I think that would be good for us if we could do that. 
Well, anytime you can put pressure on a quarterback, uh, you know, it's going to, no matter that Chris Miller or whoever the quarterback is, you're going to present problems. Uh, and that's one thing we got to do a better job of with our defensive line. You know, we, we sacked the quarterback three times Saturday against Alabama State, but two of them were on safety blitzes. So, you know, we had one legitimate sack from our defensive line. That was Brian Turner, I think. So, but, you know, anytime you can uh, – Put pressure on a quarterback, uh, that's to the defensive advantage. It certainly helps the secondary and, and their time frame of coverage. So, um, you know, we want to make sure we get pressure on the quarterback, whether it be Chris or, or whoever it is. Certainly not through looking at the film yet, but uh, my uh, <clears throat> opinion that all three of them are very similar. I think um, they're all big, big guys, physical guys. I'd say they are okay as athletes. I don't think they're you know, an athletic guy like Joe that's going to have a lot of escapability, but uh, they're big, strong, physical guys that, that uh, I think if we can get pressure on them, it'll be to our advantage. We, we don't worry about the ACC, the ACC, or whoever it is. You know, we want to play and win everybody, you know, compete against everybody we play and, you know, try to win the football game. Um, you know, we, you know, we're, uh, we don't want to play people close. We want to win football games. And, you know, I've told people, I've told the team, and, you know, there's an old saying that, you know, to be a good football team, you've got to win the games you're supposed to and win some you're not supposed to. Well, we won one Saturday that we were supposed to. Now we need to win some we're not supposed to. And uh, so that's what we're shooting to do.